Hi guys, so here Anwari here, co-founder of Sublime Trading, here with your daily update for the US and UK indices for Thursday the 4th of June. Okay guys, hope you're well. Right, let's get straight into the S&P 500, a gap up and a continuation of the bullish trend in play since March. So another positive day for the bulls yesterday, adding 1.5% onto the current bullish trend in play. On the Dow Jones, another um, positive move to the upside uh, with a, a gap up and also a 2% move to the upside on the Dow Jones. It's now finding resistance at the 200 simple moving average, immediate resistance at the 200 simple moving average. If we go break and close above the 200 moving average, then we're very much in bullish territory on the Dow Jones. On the NASDAQ, just a, a small move up of around uh, just under 1%, around 0.7%. So price now finding immediate resistance at the all time high on the NASDAQ. So very, very interesting moves taking place on the US indices. Moving across to the FTSE 100, we had a strong bullish bar yesterday, a move of uh, 3% to the upside and a, a solid breakout bar yesterday. So a good, Day all round on the indices for the bulls so what we're looking for now is just a continuation further moves to the upside and further breakouts on the FTSE 100 we want to see momentum towards that uh, 200 moving average and ideally we want to see price breaking close above the 200 moving average and a continuation to the upside so all in all the bulls are very much in control we could see a pullback and a correction at some at some point but for now, the bulls are very much in control. So let's move into the charts and catch up with price action. So guys, if you're new to these daily updates, then I recommend starting with the recording that's pinned to the top of our Facebook page so that you get a good understanding of what I go through in these charts. As always, this is our three screen setup. We have the monthly in the top left, weekly in the top right, and our daily chart down here across the bottom. Starting with the S&P 500, we can see that we're seeing good bullish action in the month of June. We're seeing this bullish momentum continue. We're only four days into June, but we're seeing a, a good size bar to the month of June already. This could, of course, look very different by the end of the month. Ideally, really, what we want to see is that continuation to the high of last year. We then want to see price break through this and then movement to the current all-time high. On the weekly time frame, price is above the 200 moving average and the 50 simple moving average good bullish week so far if we come down to the daily time frame price above all three moving averages we can see this bullish momentum continue we had a gap up yesterday and that bullish momentum continue to the upside if i just open up the daily time frame what we haven't seen as yet is a pullback and a retest of the 200 simple moving average we saw price find some kind of support around this area here but we haven't had a pullback to retest the 200 moving average. So we can expect that at some point. Now, when I talk about a pullback, I mean a pullback like this. We had another pullback here, another pullback here. But each time the market looks to keep on pushing to new highs. So it's breaking out, creating new highs within this trend. So ultimately, what we could see at some point is a pullback to retest some kind of area of support. And then the next breakout will suggest a continuation. When that pullback comes in, is very much down to the forces of the market. So far, we're seeing a continuation of the bullish trend in play since March. Moving across to the NASDAQ, starting with the monthly, we can see June is looking bullish as well, just short of the current all time high. We can see that in more detail on the weekly price above both moving averages. And we can see that the bullish action of this week is just short of the current all time high. And on the daily time frame, this bullish action is now taking price again just short of that current all-time high so what we want to see is a break and a close above this level to really suggest a continuation of the long-term bullish trend we can see how price is being supported by the 20 simple moving average the 50 is now above the 200 so looking strong for a continuation moving across to the dow jones we can see again june looking bullish inside the annual levels of last year we can see price has some way to go before it actually reaches the high of last year but looking bullish so far on the weekly price above the 200 and now just finding resistance at the 50 simple moving average a good week as well so far for the bulls 
and on the daily time frame we can see that bullish action from yesterday has taken price just short of the 200 simple moving average in fact it's tagged it close below it now what we want to see is a break and a close above this level to suggest a continuation there could be a battle here between the bulls and the bears it tends to happen so we could see at least some kind of short-term movement to the downside before a continuation or we may not we may just see price gap up or break through this level and continue towards uh, this high for now though we really want to see where how price reacts to this level ideally we want to see a breakout to the upside looking at the s p 500 mini which gives us an indication of pre-market action we can see the month of june is looking bullish on the weekly price above the 250 simple moving average bullish week so far however on the daily time frame we can see so far today it's a bearish start to the day so i did mention earlier that we could potentially see a pullback this could be the early sign for pullback remember this is pre-market action the end of the day candlestick the end of day candlestick could look very different so thursday's candlestick could look very different it could be a bullish looking bar it may be a bearish looking bar we really need the day to play out for us to get a clearer indication of what we could see through to the end of uh, the week tomorrow being friday and the last day of the week but so far this is looking bullish and looking strong for a continuation thursday pre-market action suggests bearishness so far moving to the FTSE 100 we can see june is a good looking month so far for the bulls it's already trading above the high of last month but we want to see price now move towards this area of resistance on the weekly price is below both the 200 and the 50 simple moving average uh, averages bullish week so far and on the daily time frame if i just open up the daily time frame we can see that we had another breakout so we had a breakout above the high of may yesterday a three percent move to the upside a slow start to thursday so far but that can be expected but ultimately what we're seeing now in this in this trend is higher high so we had a, a move to the upside here and then higher lows another higher high higher low and now we're seeing another higher high so we can see that resistance levels are being broken what we then want to see is price continue towards the 200 moving average and then ideally a move towards the current all-time high so patience needed for now until we see a clearer indication of which direction price does want to go but for now we are seeing price move towards that 200 moving average Okay, guys, that's me for today. Please like, comment, and share. Let's get people understanding how to use the indices correctly through these recordings to build a solid investment portfolio. And I will be back on tomorrow's daily update.